About seven years had passed since the confrontation with Cell. This is the quiet settlement of Satan City. Here resides Mr. Satan, the man mistakenly believed to have saved the planet. The city was renamed after him for his heroism. Gohan is now 16 years old. With no schools anywhere near his country home, he had no choice but to do homeschooling and correspondence courses. But eventually, his mother, Chi-Chi, decided to send him to a high school in Satan City. Armed bandits began appearing so frequently in Satan City that Gohan began to run into them on his way to school from time to time. To combat the crime in the city, Gohan would transform into a Super Saiyan and make short work of those that disturb the peace. To protect his identity, Gohan made sure to leave the scene as quickly as possible. The mysterious hero came to be known as the Golden Fighter, and rumors quickly spread about his true identity. The Golden Fighter again, huh? Who the heck is this guy? From Super Saiyan to Superhero. That took way too long. I need to hurry. Hi. You're the new guy. Gohan, is that right? I'm Erisa. Nice to meet you. And this here's Videl. You won't believe this. Videl's dad is none other than the legendary Mr. Satan. Really? M Mr. Satan? See, I told you you weren't going to believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You were late today, weren't you? Did you happen to see the bank robbery in town? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. The Golden Fighter took out all the bandits. Uh, uh, okay. Why are you so interested in bank robberies? Well, you see... Videl's a bit of a crime fighter herself. Makes total sense though, right? She is Mr. Satan's daughter. She's really tough. The police even sometimes ask for her help. Wow, you don't say. You know, you've got the same build as the Golden Fighter. Huh? Huh, I need to do something to mask my identity. Maybe I'll ask Bulma for her input. <laughs> Look who you're talking to. This pushover's no match for a bunch of robbers. Hmm. We've got baseball practice up next, right? We'll find out if you're really tough enough to fight crime soon enough. You've got no hope of getting a hit off my pitches. <laughs> Gotta make sure I hold back most of my strength. Mom and Bulma both warned me to keep my power in check to avoid causing a huge uproar. Yeah, it sure is hard living a normal life. <laughs> Let's see how you handle my ultra fastball. I've got to take this nice and easy. Not getting a single hit off me! What? You actually hit my pitch? I, I just got lucky, that's all. Yeah, 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 you're right. Your stance was way off, too. Wow, so even that was too much. I'll head to Bulma's place later and ask her for some advice. Something's up with him. Hi, Bulma. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, hey, Gohan. What's up? Hmm... You need some sort of disguise to hide your identity. So, do you have any idea how I can do that? Of course, I am a genius after all. Really? Please, whatever it is, I'll take it. No problem. It'll take some time though, so sit tight. Thanks, you have no idea how much this will help me. Oh yeah, do you know where Trunks is? I'd like to talk to him while I'm waiting. He's probably getting whipped into shape by Vegeta in the gravity chamber. Vegeta mentioned something about making him stronger than you. Oh, yeah? Wow, he sure is intense. Gohan, when did you get here? Not too long ago. The word on the street is that your dad's putting you through some grueling training. Yep. He promised he'd take me to the amusement park if I can land one hit on him. Really? Vegeta said that? Keep at it, then. I know you can do it. Yeah, I'll make sure my dad keeps his promise. Guess I should say hi to Vegeta while I'm here. Hi, Vegeta. Sorry to interrupt. Go on. Look at you. You're out of shape. Even in times of peace, you should be training. Uh, right. Speaking of training, I hear you're teaching Trunks how to fight. I am. He's more than old enough to prepare himself for real combat by now. 
And he'll soon surpass you if you keep sitting on your ass like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I gave Trunk some words of encouragement earlier. He's looking forward to going to the amusement park. <laughs> He's only going if he can manage to hit me. But that's not going to happen. Perfect timing, Gohan. <laughs> it's ready. Not fair. Make me one, Mom. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> this is great! This will definitely work. I know, right? Thank you so much, Bulma. I'm gonna use this right away. Oh, never mind. I don't want one. All right, I'm heading to school now. You must really like that thing, what with you transforming all the time in the evening. Watch out for airplanes. Right. Good luck today, Gohan. You're so cool. <laughs> I know, right? This Goku lookalike is Gohan's younger brother, Goten. He is Goku's second son, who was born after the defeat of Cell. Good thing I'm dressed as the great Saiyan man. Now I can fly without worrying about being seen. Plus, I'll be on the lookout for evildoers. I wonder what's going on in town. Huh? What's happening? More robbers? Still want more? We ain't done yet. Kiss your butt goodbye, little girl. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. She really is pretty strong. She's gotta be way stronger than her dad. Come on, get up! Don't tell me you're done already! Why, you little... Oh, what the... Who the hell are you? Hmm? Me? I'm the vanquisher of evil, defender of justice! The great Saiyaman! Nailed it! Those two hours of practice last night paid off. How lame! Resistance is futile! Now then, Videl, let's apprehend these fiends! He knows my name? I knew it! There's no way in hell I'm letting this bozo take me out. S screw this guy! Let's pump it full of lead! Yeah, he's dead meat! Fools! Justice will always prevail! He, he's some sort of monster! About these ruffians, would you mind escorting them to the police, Videl? They're fine here. I'll make a call and have them picked up. You're pretty strong. You don't want people to know your identity, do you? Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. But are you sure you want to keep this going, Gohan? You're going to be late. Exactly. That's why I have to hurry. I knew it! Huh? You're that Gohan guy from my class, aren't you? Uh, oh no. B busted. How did you figure it out? I had the perfect disguise and everything. Your voice, mannerisms, plus you knew my name. Uh, oh, yeah. Why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit anyway? Well, it's just... My friends and family just want to live normal lives. I was told to hide my strength, so... Hmm... Uh, uh, um... Uh, please don't tell anyone about this. You know, the World Tournament's in about a month. You're going to enter, right? What? The World Tournament? You don't know it? It's a competition to determine the best fighter. They're bringing it back. My dad's the previous champion, and before him, it was some mysterious guy named Goku. Huh. His name's kind of similar to yours. And it's probably not just a coincidence either. You know, I bet that Goku guy is your dad. Am I right? Huh? Well, uh... Jeez, this girl sure is smart as a whip. That's what I thought. So, what do you say? You're gonna enter the World Tournament, right? Uh, well, no. I'm gonna stay out of that. I'm not really interested in competitions like that anyway. 
In that case, if you don't enter, I'm gonna tell everyone that you're the great Saiyaman. What? Oh, come on. We have a deal? Just enter as the great Saiyaman. No one will know it's you. <sighs> Fine. I'll enter the tournament. Great! Then it's settled. Finally, some competition. I was afraid I'd be up against pushovers. I've really gotten myself into a mess now. I did not see this coming. Look, we're almost at school. Oh, also, you need to teach me how to fly. It's not fair if you're the only one who can do that. Oh, uh, okay, sure. All right, I'll head in first. Man, I never imagined anyone would find out my secret this fast. And now, I have to deal with the World Tournament. I'll ask Bulma for advice after school. <laughs> 